I'm Emily. I'm a GBHI Atlantic Fellow based at the UCSF Memory and Aging Centre. Um, I'm presenting my poster today on non-parametric rest activity rhythms, which we find associate with more F frontotemporal lobar degeneration clinical and cognitive measures. So this is looking at Fitbit data um, and a cross-sectional study of data collected um, at baseline visit, um, where participants wore a Fitbit every day for a maximum of 30 days from a baseline visit, which collected clinical demographic information, cognitive and functional performance, imaging, and blood biomarkers. And from the Fitbit data, I derived non-parametric measures because we were interested in looking at whether the inter and intra um, variability of their rest activity rhythms over these 30 days might be indicative of different cognitive fun functioning and brain health. And so we collected this information in healthy adults, people with all-cause MCI, Alzheimer's disease, and frontotemporal lobar degeneration. And we found that um, we, there were differences in sex and ethnicity and clinical dementia ratings um, in global and uh, summer boxes. So, but when we actually looked at the, uh, the non-parametric measures, what we found is we did a principal component analysis and found that these reduced, uh, all these measures were reduced down to five dimensions, which accounted for 85% of the variance. Um, and there were two particular principal components that were important here. One is the activity variability and amplitude, which is PC1. The second, PC3, was related to rest and, active, and rest, uh, activity start timings. And we found that these two principal components associated with cognitive scores such as executive functioning and also better cognitive health as indicated on the clinical um, frontotemporal lobar degeneration focus scores. Um, however, we found that only the principal component three related to rest activity timings was associated with recall. When we look at the between groups uh, differences, we found that the FTLD group showed lower uh, activity variability and amplitude. And so taken together, these findings indicate that the, uh, this principal component might be important uh, and have a more FTLD flavor um, and be able to be uh, adjust and facilitate ongoing disease monitoring.